Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. I might be hitting with an oversized racket today. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so I haven't hit with an oversized racket since that Agassi uh, Radical back in the day. Man, it's been that long. The 107 uh, Radical was the last oversized racket I've tried. How many years was that? Like 15 years, 20 years ago? Well, I'm going to try my first oversized racket seriously since then. It's going to come in the form of this Dunlop CX200 OS. So, but before I go out there and try it, I'm gonna learn a little bit about it and teach you a little bit about it at the same time. So this is in the control line, a la Radical, right? But this time it's a Dunlop, it is oversized. So this particular racket is 105 square inches instead of 107 uh, that the Radical was. So this is kind of more in line with um, the Serena Blade 104, okay? So um, really excited to hit with something a little bigger, like back in the day of like Prince Graphite Oversized. Uh, so, hey, just a control big, bigger frame um, on the thinner side. These rackets are really, really rare these days. So gonna go out and hit with my man coach Rob with this one and see what we both think. But before I do that, uh, I'm gonna go over some of these numbers with you and uh, see what it weighs and balances and flexes um, out at, okay? All right, so got the CX200 oversized, got my balance board out. Let's see where it balances out to. It's like 333 right there. Just for kicks though, I'm gonna take a Serena, an older Serena, and see where this balances out at. Okay, let's hit the scale. At the scale. Three thirteen point five. Got that balance there. Three eleven. Swing weight. I mean, swing weight. let's check the Ser the Serena. I keep saying the Serena. It's a Blade One Hundred Four. Three o three point five. Check the swing weight here. Three thirteen. Okay. All right, so let's go analyze. All right, CX two hundred oversize. Okay, before we go out and try it, I'm going to talk about this racket a little bit. So 313.5 strong weight, balance is 333 millimeters, um, 310 on the swing weight, 61 on the stiffness, that's their numbers, not mine, 21.5 beam. So if you look at those numbers, 
right? They're very, they're similar to what a blade, a Wilson Blade 104 is. Uh, it's definitely heavier in the weight. Balance, a little heavier, a little head heavier in the, in the 104 uh, Wilson. Just a hair more swing weight. Supposed to be a hair less stiff, but thicker in the beam by half a millimeter. So these rackets, these two rackets are very comparable. So if you use a Wilson 104, a Blade 104, um, this would be your Dunlop racket. Uh, I'm going to test one more thing before we go into the uh, the uh, technology. I just want to see if it's longer. I, I forgot to look at that. It's not longer. So 27 inches, 27 and a half inches. Okay, so those of you who don't want a longer racket, try the CX200 Oversize. Now, let's talk about the technology. Flex boost rubber in the shaft for dampening, okay? So that's kind of like what everybody's doing right now. Head calls it spiral fibers. Um, these guys call it flex boost. So it's in the shoulders here, and it's supposed to dampen the shock, right? Um, Reinitiate energy from when the ball, le you know, comes into the bed, tennis, the string bed, and leaves the string bed. So... They're all doing it. Every company is doing some form of this kind of dampening of the shaft, re-exerting energy from the shaft. Sonic core softens the shock, right? So that is in with built within the frame of the racket. As you can see here is where they call it, right? So it's in here, right? That they basically take away shock. So this is kind of like um, the Cortex that Babolat did use in heat three and nine. Uh, they took it away from here and brought it into here. They basically took it away from here at, at the bottom of the throat and brought it to three and nine to help dampen the shock out here instead of bringing it down to here where they take away the feel. So my guess is that, my guess is that this will dampen shock very, very well, but hopefully allow for some feel to come through. That is my hope and wish. And hey, let's go out with Coach Rob and see how it is. All right guys, so we're on the court, CX2. CX200 Oversize, OS. I've got my man, Coach Rob, with me, who's agreed to play with me in this frigid conditions out here just for you. All right? Stay tuned. All right, so we just got off the court, CX200 OS. Coach Rob, what'd you think of that 105 square inch head? This one felt good, had easy uh, maneuverability, played uh, really nice, felt good off the ground strokes, the weight and balance felt really good. Um, didn't really feel like a 105. Um, I thought it was a 100, just you know, swinging it until you told me that, but it, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, so, Basically, um, I didn't I didn't prep Coach Rob. I just gave him the racket and said, hey, well then tell me what you think. So, Coach Rob, this is kind of like the Serena Williams, uh, not Serena Williams, excuse me, the Blade 104 in the Wilson line that right. you're familiar with. Right. So, except yeah. though that it's not half an inch longer and it's a hair thinner here. 22 right. beam versus 21 and a half on that right. blade. So and I like the thinner, I like the thinner beam as it sits in my left hand there. Um, that was nice. Yeah. So, so now Coach Rob, he ain't gonna convert to Dunlop, but um, at least I gave him, you know, something to possibly sell. If we run out of those 104s since there is a racket shortage. But anyways, um, 
I personally like this racket a lot. It's, it's easy to play with. It's well balanced. Right. You could put the ball where you want to put it, you know, yep. with that extra five square inches. It's like what Coach Rob said. You didn't know it was there. No. Right? I mean, when you hit the center, you got great reaction off of it. Definitely the things that they talk about, the sonic core and the thing in the throat, whatever that flex boost, flex booster, right, definitely works in this thing. You know, because it muted the racket down nicely, but still allowed for a little bit of that feel, right? Yep. So very, very quiet, quiet racket. Um, I definitely recommend it for anybody who wants a slightly bigger racket, but wants a little more control out of it. All right. So I want to thank my man, Coach Rob, for hanging out with me today. Uh, thank you always for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.